Hi everyone, get ready for an exciting lecture on the multiplication of discrete time signals. Okay, so we'll see today signal multiplication. So now when we talk about multiplying two discrete time signals, we do it sample by sample. It's like taking each sample from one signal and multiplying it with the corresponding sample from the other signal okay so the multiplication of two discrete time signals is performed on a sample by sample basis the multiplication of two dt signals or sequence can be performed by multiplying their values at the sampling instance fine so to put it simply we multiply the values of two discrete time sequences at the same sampling instance to help you understand this better, let's take a look at an example. Fine, so this is an example. x1 of n is what? 1 at n is equal to 0, minus 3, 2, 4, 1.5. x of 2 is this. This is what a sequence representation of a signal, right? So you have two signals. One is x1 of n, another one is what? x2 of n. N. What you want to calculate? You want to calculate the product of this signals means signal multiplication. So I want to perform x1 of n into x2 of n. Right. So how to do this? As I told you, sample by sample. For example, at n is equal to 0, what is the value of x1 of n? 1 right so 1 into at n is equal to 0 what is the value of x2 of n 2 so 1 into 2 now go at the sampling instant n is equal to 1 so what is the value of x1 of n minus 3 and for x2 of n what is the value minus 1 okay now let's go for n is equal to 2 so what is the value of x1 of 2 that is 2 and what is the value of x2 of 2? So into 3. Same for next. So it will become 4 into 1.5. And same for next, it will become this into this. So 1.5 into 2. So what will be the result? The result will be 2 into 2, 2. This will become what? 3. Now 2 into 3, 6. 4 into 1.5 is what? 6 and 1.2 into 2 is what 3 so the product of x1 of n into x2 of n is equal to what this signal a new signal and this is what a sequence representation for the new signal right which is basically a product of x1 of n and x2 of n so this is how you have to perform multiplication of two discrete time signals or sequence right sample by sample now think of this multiplication process as a cool little trick called modulation okay so the product is also called as what modulation okay it is like combining the two signals to create a new modified signals is it clear so in exam use the below approach to solve the problem okay what is that approach let me show you so this is fine this is a shortcut way to do this is pretty fine but in exam don't perform like this okay better to go in more good way fine so x1 of n and x2 of n is given like this and now what you have to Calculate you have to calculate y of n which is basically multiplication of these two signals. So what you have to do here is Go Like when n is equal to 0. So when n is equal to 0 y of 0 will become what? x1 of 0 into x2 of 0. Am I right? so 2 into minus 1 will become minus 2 now when n is equal to 1 
so y of 1 is equal to x1 of 1 into x2 of 1 this is equal to what 2 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 now when n is equal to 3 sorry n is equal to 2 so y of 2 is equal to x1 of 2 into x2 of 2 this is equal to what minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 so finally we got to know that y of n which is basically x1 of n into x2 of n is equal to what so at n is equal to 0 we got minus 2 at n is equal to 1 we got 2 at n is equal to 2 we got minus 2 so this is the result fine this is what the resultant signal y of n which is equal to x1 of n into x2 of n so this is how you can solve in exam right so that's all about the signal multiplication if you have any doubts or questions feel free to reach in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you